Hey guys, welcome back to SAEDC Reviews. I'm JP. Today we're going to be looking at something different than our, uh, our usual products. This is the Edge Custom Carry um, Light Bearing Holster. All right, this was sent to me by them or by Eugene Jacobs. They've actually crafted this obviously by himself. A very, very neat holster. Um, we'll go into a little bit more detail now. So just to give you an idea what this holster is for, this is designed for my PO7 uh, with the Olight PL Mini mounted to it. All right, um, it is an inside the waistband, as you guys can see, um, single J clip on there. All right, this is what the holster looks like. Um, obviously, different weapon. You guys have all different molds, different shapes, etc. Um, it's quite thick. All right, but even though in its thickness, you can still see the, the very uh, aggressive grooves that are on the PO7 on the front and the slide there. Um, you can even feel that on there. All right, so that's gone right through, which is which is quite surprising. You would think that you won't be able to feel it on the outside, but but you do. This holster is um, ambidextrous, so you can obviously change that clip around to the other side. If you are left-handed all right mine set up for appendix carry right-handed all right before we carry on this is the PO7 with the Olight PL Mini Valkyrie um, YouTube always giving issues okay I do have rounds in my firearm for this review specifically because of the weights um, of the firearm but just to show you guys the firearm is safe um, there we go. I will put that back in, but I will not load it. All right. Okay. Let's put the file in the holster. There we go. Um, the holster does look a bit big, but the reason for this is obviously you need to cover your weapon lights as well. And it goes in quite deep. You guys can see from the front. Um, it covers all the way right to your safety or if you've got a decocker in this model and then there you go you see that from the front the j clip is obviously a little bit movable so you can angle your firearm um the way you would prefer it obviously to carry it in front obviously it's a two four for better concealment all right um retention on this holster is quite amazing so you guys can see I'm shaking it right. Oh, there we go. It's coming up now. It's, uh, it is there. You can adjust your retention with the screws. You've got three of those screws over there. Obviously, one of them holding your clip. The clip you can also adjust adjust the height, as you guys can see over there. All right. Quite a strong clip. A lot of my belts, for instance, the CR Speed belt, um, you are forced to pull this clip away. So that the belt can slide in um, and as you can see how far that pulls away that's quite a lot um, i've been using this holster for the past i think it's almost two months now um, no signs of wear on the clip itself and uh, no issues at all i do try to use the clip to the max so i'm not i'm not being friendly with it if you know what i'm saying i am trying to actually open it so it's comfortable to put it on and take it off again i'm not trying to do it softly so the clip does not break all right so there we go all right so just take the firearm out um i like to use my thumb when doing that obviously just to when it's not on you put that down all right so the edges on this holster is smoothed out right around okay um, so you won't have that any sharp edges that's going to be cutting into you or into your skin or even when you maybe put your weapon back or draw that by accidentally you just touching the kinds a lot of the guys um, that make kinds of they're not worrying to smoothing out the sides um, edge custom carry has gone that extra mile of actually taking going right around the holster all the edges are nicely smoothed out um, which is quite nice all right guys so basically the holster is there so that you can carry your weapon light 
on your weapon with you at all times wherever you may go um quick story i had this holster on about two weeks ago i took a bus to come to go fetch my car and i drove back it was during the night so i decided to take this holster with me because of uh being on the bus at night time with the weapon mine light and from Cape Town to Kimberley is about just under a thousand k's. I got there, I grabbed breakfast, I went to the bathroom, I took a, I took a firearm with, with the holster out for about literally two minutes and I put it back again, I hit the road, drove straight back to Cape Town. Um, I stopped over in Worcester for about another half an hour and then came home. It was, yeah, it was close to 24 hours and my firearm stayed on me during the whole period. All right, I did not remove it just for those two minutes. What I can tell you is that I had print, but not once was I uncomfortable. A very important part about sitting down with the holster is the way you sit down with your belt. Firstly, you must have a decent belt, obviously, to, to carry a holster. Um, any a weak belt will cause um, discomfort or for the holster to move around in a position that might not suit you. So a belt is very important. Um, and then the other thing is that when you're sitting down to pull your belt up or just, you know, just pull it up so that you doesn't push down into a place. Uh, yeah, that's going to be even more uncomfortable for you. Great. So I'm going to, I'm going to put my firearm in now and I'm actually going to show you guys what it looks like once concealed um because that is what it's designed for obviously for concealed carry great i'm basically wearing a plain button shirt and a pair of jeans this is what i would wear if i'd be going out with my family uh, my wife or so for, for dinner or something like that otherwise very casual t-shirt sometimes even shorts go to the shop quickly um the belt that you are using is very important um i've got the condor cobra gun belt I put the belt buckle on the side and the reason for this is obviously if you've got your buckle more in front you already have your fire on there pushing forward you will have the buckle out even further which will give you more prints and it looks a bit awkward and you're actually going to give away that there's something hidden under your shirt or behind your pants all right single belt clip so which is quite nice because if you've got these two belt clips over here you something someone's going to see it listen we have got something there but uh, just one clip you won't notice that easily unless you've got a different color belt okay at the moment i put the firearm slightly to the right okay and angled up straight so it's actually um vertical in line with the clip as well like i mentioned to you you can have it angled so this is what it would look like obviously very relaxed you can't see much okay just maybe slightly the magazine i've got a i've got a plus two shoe on the mag over there Okay, what I'll do is I'll just push the gun a bit more down, tuck in again, there we go, and even less print. Okay, now the firearm is actually sitting like that. Okay, I'm going to take my shirt out so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There you go. And there's the angle. You can obviously adjust to wherever you are comfortable with. All right, taking the firearm out, very easy, and back in again, there we go. I'm just going to change my shirt quickly just to show you guys what it's going to look like in a bit more of a casual uh, look. Quick shirt change, I've decided to go over to black now because we've already had a, a white shirt. Um, this is the Condor Maxford training top, okay. Basically just a, a nice mesh shirt for, for training purposes, breathability, etc. It's hanging very comfortable, so it's supposed to actually hang onto the firearm if it had to be um, in the way. In this case, it doesn't. You can see slight print, not from my firearm, but from the belt in front. Okay. I am a skinny guy, so I wear size 32 pants, um, a large t-shirt, but sometimes it's a bit more difficult for us to conceal because of the printing um, of the firearm. Our clothes, the way the clothes sit, is very flush with our body. All right. So if you got a bit of bit of weight around over here, I think you're better off than what than I would be um, not having that at all. All right. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a turn. 
Well, I can't see much, just to show you the angle of the firearm again, and I'll put that up. All right. Um, very comfortable. Um, like I said, I've driven over almost 2,000 Ks with it, and yeah, I'm just going to give a bit of a jump. It's not moving around. Um, all right. Take in mind, guys, that this holster is big. All right. It's made for um, a light on the firearm. So there you go. And uh, definitely the holster that I'm going to be using every single time when I'm out at night time. Even sometimes at day, if you don't know if you're going to be end up um, late at home, something that's unplanned for. All right. So there you have it. Edge Custom Carry um, Light Bearing Holster. Ambidextrous, so left hand, right hand, it will work for you. All right, it comes in different uh, four different models, obviously. Um, Eugene Jacobs can make some good quality holsters, I can tell you guys that. If you are in the market for a holster like this or any other holster, you guys can go have a look on Edge Custom Carry's website. Uh, I'll put a link at the bottom, and you guys can just click on the link and that will take you there. On the web page, it'll actually show you where you can find this holster, all right? Or you can just make contact directly with them and they'll send you in the right direction. So these holsters you can pick up depending on where you buy it, anything from 700 to 900 bucks, um, also depending on what firearm it's for. Great, guys. So stay tuned to the channel. Um, I'm going to be doing another holster review very soon and some nice gear coming up. We are about three likes away from 2,000 likes on our Facebook page. And I thank you guys for, for all the support. We will be doing a giveaway once we've reached 2,000. Um, just a short little, maybe just a little competition. or not a, not, No rules or anything like that. Just a couple of gear that we're getting together to give away to you guys to say thank you. All right, so stay, stay tuned to the channel. Keep watching. Um, please make contact with me. And I'll be doing my best to answer your questions regarding this awesome master. Thanks for watching guys.